one of the trends that's coming, is, as I say, to state is uh, global virtualization. And what that means is that up to now, most virtualization has been vertical. We have a virtualization engine and we virtualize things behind it so that it all looks like one virtual volume. What we're doing now is to have the ability to virtualize across separate physical storage systems, separate file systems, separate object stores. And this global virtualization gives us um, the ability to um, do load balancing across different uh, geolocations. It gives us the ability to simplify configurations or make it easier to configure things. Uh, it enables us to put the data closer to the user uh, by doing this. Um, and still be able to provide one coherent virtual image. So I believe that the uptake of this will be fairly fast because it's, a, it's an availability, it's a load balancing, also gives us the ability to do non-disruptive migration. Okay? Uh, without having to take days to move data, we immediately transfer over to the new image. And then in the background, we, we transfer the data. Data Lake, uh, I think it was uh, defined by uh, the CTO for Pentaho saying that, uh, gi it, giving this comparison. He says, data warehouses are like getting bottled water, like Evian. Data Lakes are the lake full of water. It's not prepackaged uh, and built for a certain consumption. Okay, data Lakes are just raw data, okay, in a form that anybody could come in and, and access that and get data out of that. That, that calls for very, very large capacities and usually this will be scale out types of capacities or you can have just a network of nodes and you keep scaling it out. So you need a very high capacity. You need this to be over some RESTful interfaces uh, so that you can communicate to the, uh, through the internet to the cloud uh, file types of interfaces. Um, so those are the key technologies. Is there's a file system that can scale out and is the access protocols um, to make it easily accessible. Um, and then be able to do this, because of large capacity, do this at very low cost. So many people will be using these hyper-converged solutions. You know, now it's hard to tell the storage from the server. I mean, it's all one, it just scales out. Okay. So uh, those are the types of technologies for what we call these data lakes.